I was born in Cuba, grew up in Jamaica, lived many years in the U.S., and now I'm in Florida. My husband and I, along with our two youngest sons, immigrated to Canada in order to attend the lectures of Dr. Kenneth Young, a medical physician, and the children of that. At the moment, I'm the only one of my immediate family living in Canada. The rest are all in the state, and they act and tell you when they're not full. <laughs> <laughs> in answer to a prayer, Toastmaster came into my life. I joined the Markham Toastmasters for two years. Then I totaled my car, and I had no way of going to the meeting, as I lived at Young Street when Markham was way over. Well, at that time I lived on Dudley, right beside the cabin school. And one morning I was going to work and I saw this maintenance man sitting up the flag. So I asked him if they had a room for a meeting and he said yes. He gave me the number for the head ministry, the number for this job board of education. So right away I called Hyacinda Foster and she agreed to join me in the call my postmaster's job. Well, uh, I, we booked the room, put an idol liberal, people turned up, and as I say, the rest is history. We had a very successful club, thanks to the support from Vince Lacoste, who was then international narrator, and the support of the Markham Club. A club that's so big that it branched off into what is now the original Hill. So at the moment, I volunteer to start a senior center. I'm the convener for this three line dances classes, into drama, photography, diversity, letter, and play bingo, which, as you know, is a senior babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm having a great time. But what is my metaphysics and the senior center and the toastmaster and the co op fighting with your region and the lie down? It was a bit stressful, so I decided to slow down. The problem is, I love to do so many things that I, I keep getting involved in more things every day. Now I'm into with the um, advanced club. I don't know how I got involved with it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to pay, but then I'll have to wait until I retire. <laughs> I have written a beautiful song, which if, if it's produced properly, I'm sure we will be number one on the chart. <laughs> How is that for which we're thinking? My favorite part can be line dancing. There are many different kinds of line dancing. There is international, traditional, country, Latin, I mean, um, clogging. As a matter of fact, any dance in the line is a line dance. I attend one traditional and two Latin classes every week because I love the music and it's good for the, um, for the grade. Now the Traditional is the easiest one because the teachers are set. You know, they have basic, vine, <laughs> But the Latin, they just say left, right, left, right. No one then they call it set, so you have to really use the brain. And that's why I really like it. Keep away all diamonds for a while. <laughs> I cannot understand people saying that they are bored. There are so many wonderful things to do. I sometimes I wish we had more than 34 hours a day so that I could get a chance to read and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> However, I can't complain because generally feeling, generally speaking, I'm a happy camper and I do not sweat the small stuff. Because in the overall scheme of things, what appears sometimes a great misfortune? If we lose a job, we get dumped. It might be a blessing if it dies. Or it may be an opportunity for you to change your ways 